Folks, the time is upon us. This is Cinnamon Frosted Flakes cereal. I'm not gonna lie, everybody, I just can't wait to rip into this. So, let's just get right to it. And all right, everybody, let's try this out. Shout out to Tony the Tiger. Everybody, so it is Friday. It is the eve of New Year's Eve, I guess you could say. <laughs> I got back from the office uh, around 2.30 ish today and then actually did some work on the computer, then went to the gym, and here I am right now. It's about six, a little after six o'clock. I'm about to record my second podcast just to finish up my story and everything like that. So I'm gonna be doing that and a live stream as well. I uh, didn't get to get much food in at all today, so I'm actually gonna get a shake in right now. I'm still feeling pretty pumped after how squats went today, so. Yeah. Anyways, everybody, I'm gonna record this podcast and have my live stream tonight, and yeah, we'll see where the rest of the night takes us. Alrighty, guys, so I just ended up finishing the second podcast, and uh, I'm in like a weird mood right now because I just feel like I'm like so free. Uh, it just sounds really cliche for me to talk about, but I'm going to be making dinner tonight, and I have a live stream coming up right about now, so let's make some oriental salad, like I usually do. I love this recipe. You guys are seeing yourselves, well, now you are seeing yourself being filmed in a vlog. We have food, so I'll say what's up everybody. Chat always goes crazy right about this time of day. It's gonna be a big bite. Big, big bite. There's nothing wrong with that, especially on this channel. Always delicious and always nutritious. Folks, the time is upon us. This is Cinnamon Frosted Flakes cereal. I'm not gonna lie, everybody, I just can't wait to rip into this, so let's just get right to it. And all right, everybody, shout out to Tony the Tiger. And they are great. Let me just put it that way. Oh my goodness, guys. Wow. I can't even believe my taste buds right now. Immediately you get like this like French toast like cinnamon French toast flavor now that I say it, it's almost like cinnamon toast crunch Now normally my frosted flakes get pretty uh, soggy But it's holding up pretty well guys. This is this is unbelievable <laughs> With frosted flakes everybody it's pretty straightforward. I mean either you love them or you hate them I'm not normally a huge frosted flakes guy, but but I did see these in my grocery store overall rating on this Guys, it's gonna have to be an eye out of 10 for me. All right, guys, so I guess this is the point in the video where I'm supposed to give you all like this serious uh, New Year's resolution motivational talk. So here it goes, I guess. I'm gonna try to make this like as unedited as possible, I guess. I'm trying to do more of that stuff. If you guys listen to my podcast, that's pretty much the entire thing. You guys should go check that out if you haven't already. A link will be in the description of this video. I am really proud of what I did in 2016 overall. Um, I think that uh, the person I became at the end of 2016 was just where I wanted. I feel like we finish every year wanting to be better. That's why we set these whole like resolutions. These uh, New Year's resolutions are huge with people. Um, 
and people dog on others for setting New Year's resolutions. I feel like that's the common theme in the world right now. It's, it's, it's looked down upon to do that. We're human beings. If you don't want to be better at something, if you don't want to get better at something, that's just counterintuitive in my opinion. It's not necessarily I think it's bad to set New Year's resolutions. I don't. I guess it's kind of just restructuring it into things that are actually doable and realistic as well. I'm not gonna babble on about it, everybody, but I honestly was thinking a lot about it today. I don't necessarily have a lot of resolutions. I do think that in 2017, I'm gonna have a ton of goals that I'm gonna accomplish. Maybe it's just been today, because today's been a pretty rough day for me mentally and physically. And uh, I feel like 2017 is gonna be a year for me to be an adult finally. I feel like, I know, I'm gonna get a lot of feedback for this, a lot of criticism. I'm 23 years old and I just got my first big boy job and uh, I'm used to working in a bike shop all day on the weekends. And today's a Saturday and I have the entire day to myself pretty much. Whereas previously, I'm used to having all my time consumed by my job. It's like a bunch of uncertainty and I don't necessarily know how to structure my time without work, without fitness, without lifting, without cycling, without eating food and all this stuff. I've just spent so much of 2016 focusing on my YouTube channel and focusing on just hammering away at the gym. And that's another thing I wanted to bring up to you guys is I started something in the middle of this year that I didn't necessarily feel like was really of value to you guys, and that's why I really didn't mention it. Uh, and I'm probably gonna be talking about it, and most of you will probably tune out, but I started a little self experiment, I guess you could say. Alrighty, folks, so it is about uh, 2.30. It is the 20, no, that's the 30th of June. I uh, haven't really given you guys much of an update, so I figured I would do this after. Guys, at the very end of 2015 and early 2016, I was doing a lot of challenges and I was doing a lot of bike riding, let's just say. And I found that I was doing so much to the point that I was, I felt almost suicidal at times. Like it was, I became a masochist on the bike in the gym. I didn't know how to stop. I didn't know how to tell myself to stop, to tell myself that it was okay to stop. Until one day, I was out on a ride, and I felt like I was hopeless. Like I, there was like there was nothing really left for me anymore besides food challenges, besides YouTube, besides um, you know just mindless activities. I, I literally just cut my ride and was just like, I'm going to the store right now. I'm going. Um, I'm gonna get food, eat intuitively. Like I guess you guys like I'm. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing with this. Uh, to keep myself occupied during the day. And I pretty much just gave up at that point. I threw my hands up in the air and I, I pulled over to the side of the road on my bike. And I, I sat there for a good two hours. Alrighty guys, so it is the 17th or 18th of July. I figured I'd do this little update. Pretty much still, um, you know, things are actually getting a lot better. Uh, in terms of me just eating more, you can call it just a, a, a time where I, I I zoned out, I vegged out, and I went home that day. And, uh, I said, you know what, I just don't care anymore. And for the, from that like week forward, and this is actually the middle of summer. I literally just did nothing but eat food. I just did what I wanted to do, which is eat food. My body was so it, it was in a state where I just I, all I did was think about food. And I don't necessarily talk about this a lot. I don't talk about a lot of my struggles I have as a recovering anorexic. I still struggle here and there. I totally, totally admit that. And I have talked about it numerous times on my channel. So that's no secret. But this was a serious time for me and I was keeping a lot of thoughts within myself. So that, at that point in my life, all I did was eat a bunch of food. I turned on my camera, I talked to the camera. And um, I really didn't know how to, uh, you know, to express myself just because I don't really have a lot of people around me. I don't. You know, I have a few friends here and there. I don't really believe in having a ton of friends and I've just always been a natural introvert, so it's not like I can really even tell people these things as it is. I, oddly enough, get more um, satisfaction out of talking to you guys about stuff like that. I'm talking to people that I really will never meet ever in my life. I don't know why, it's just the way I am. And as this was all going on, I realized like, oh shit, I really don't have this switch that I can necessarily turn on and turn off like a normal person does when it comes to food. I need to actually really be able to turn that switch off uh, when I can, uh, when it comes to this stuff. I can remember like sitting down and eating this gigantic box of cereal and uh, it was just, all I wanted to do was sit there and eat cereal, eat cereal, eat cereal. Guys, I love cereal, but 
at a certain point, you just have to really be cognizant of where you're at. The whole point of this whole self-experiment was for me to relax. It was for me to realize that I didn't necessarily have to earn my food through stupid amounts of exercise. I haven't weighed myself in a few months, but I've estimated I've probably gained a good 15 to 20 pounds. I mean, whether it's fat or muscle, to me, doesn't matter. I'm not gonna say, I feel a shit ton better because some days I don't. Today is one of them. I can't say this enough to everybody, but you're gonna gain weight and you're gonna lose weight for the rest of your life. Now on a lighter note, I did so much crazy shit in 2016. It's insane. I started the year off at the LA Fit Expo and met a ton of you and a ton of my YouTube friends as well. I did a ton of crazy challenges. Holy shit. Just an insane year. I went to Canada for the World Poutine Eating Contest. And in a few hours, I'll be watching the ball drop in New York, where I went to as well, to film the Battle of the Heaters. Guys, I'd say 2016 was a success, but I think the biggest success was me getting my promotion at work. You guys know I love what I do. And now, I have a big boy job. 2017 is definitely gonna be interesting, and I'm definitely gonna have to make some adjustments. And by adjustments, I guess I can say changes that I think that I really can make. And it's only one or two, at least for right now. The first one is I really, really, really need to not be alone anymore. It sounds so pathetic and I feel really pathetic for just admitting that the camera and pathetic for mentioning it in front of thousands of people. But guys, I live by myself and I feel like, you know, I do need to get out more. I do need to socialize more. And I feel like I do need to meet somebody. I feel like I do better. I'm happier. I'm just a better overall person when I'm with a significant other. Either that or just getting a roommate is definitely something I think I should do. I also want to continue to take more me time. We all, I feel like we all struggle with this. We go so hard. Guys, it's 2017. Let's just make some shit happen. So that's it for the video, everybody. If you liked it, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what your goals are for 2017. I'm going to be in Los Angeles for the LA Fit Expo next week, and I couldn't be any more excited. And I also have some epic collabs going on, too. Follow me on my social media if you haven't already. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys. Is this the part where I can say the fitness joke? Fitness? Fitness whole cupcake in my mouth?